you know, I, I feel like we need movies like this. Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Anthony, here to give you guys another movie review, and this time we're going back to Netflix. Good old Netflix. And we're going to talk about The Weekend Away. When her best friend vanishes during a girl's trip to Croatia, a woman races to figure out what happened. However, each clue yields to another unsettling deception. So like I said at the top of this video, I feel like we need these kind of movies. And what I mean by these kind of films, I mean these kind of throwaway just films that are here <laughs> that you can just play in the background and that's what I feel like this movie is I mean don't get me wrong this movie sucks <laughs> okay there's really bad stuff in here but at the same time it's not that bad I enjoyed myself with this film there is aspects in there here or there that I was like okay it kept me engaged and ultimately that's what you need a movie to do to keep you engaged right I mean if you're not going to turn off the TV or the phone or whatever thing that you're watching this media on, then I think you found some kind of enjoyment in that film or in that media that you're watching. And like I said, this film is no different. I enjoyed a lot of stuff in here, but it's really tricky to make these type of movies good, even if they have a really good intention behind it. And unfortunately, I feel like when these type of films that are based off of books, these mystery thriller films, they have a little bit of a disadvantage in trying to like go outside of the box. They're kind of pigeonholed into this like, you know, box covered or should I say book shaped box where they can't really explore that much stuff that they would want to with the kind of like you know red herring kind of stuff in here and like the misdirections and everything. We've seen these kind of things before in all these films. A film that I recently just watched was uh, The Death on the Nile. Not one, another similar film to this one. Murder mystery kind of thing where you have to figure out who is the killer, who did it. And for me, someone that has watched a lot of these films, I kind of tend to already know what's going on. I can see the signs. I can see the misdirections that the director is trying to do. And the director in this film, really tries to shove it down your face that these people are creepy like oh maybe this guy's doing it because he's he's really really creepy and you know i'm not gonna lie i kind of like that they really went into that and tried to force you to think that these people are the bad guys or the people that are involved with the situation you know i thought it was kind of funny maybe unintentionally funny but it was still funny nevertheless but you know uh, like i always say there's no movie's perfect. <laughs> no movie's perfect. And this movie, wow, you know, I said it was bad. <laughs> and there's a lot of bad stuff in here. Mainly uh, the acting is, I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just not that good. I mean, there's a lot of people in here that they may be first time actors or maybe it was the direction that they were going for. Some of their performances didn't work for me. And it's even amplified by the fact that the characters' decisions in these movies just terrible and i know it's like a cliche thing to say but you know I, nobody would do that in this film and but that's how i feel about this and uh, granted i know if we were in this situation like these people we probably would do things differently but i mean come on i mean there's literally scenes in here where i was just like why didn't you just call the cops stuff as simple as that or why didn't you take a picture or why didn't you just email stuff information to yourself so you can have it later and that kind of stuff where i'm like i don't think if i was in that situation again here i go trying to you know put myself in that situation but i don't know i find it very hard to believe and again i know i'm trying to separate myself and enjoy the film and i like i said i think there is stuff enjoyable in this film it's not terrible it's not the worst thriller film that i've seen but it doesn't stop this from being mildly entertaining and something you could just throw on Netflix. I mean, it's a Netflix original. We're not expecting that much. When Netflix pulls a good movie out of its butt, we're excited, right? You know, we're used to this kind of middle of the road stuff. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you like it? Did you hate this? Do you expect this kind of stuff for Netflix? Uh, because I know I do, you know, they just, just put out this kind of stuff. As for movies that I would recommend if you like this film, I'm no, that there's some people out there. I mean, as of recording this, 50% of critics like this and around 40%, high 40s of people audience score liked it. So, so it's like 50-50, right? So I know there's some people out there that might like this film. So if you did like this film and you want to see something similar, I would also say check out another Netflix film similar to this one called Beckett. It's pretty much the same thing, just a lot more running. 
But guys, also check out my Twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, guys, keep watching movies.